Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, how are you? Hope you are fine and safe staying at your home. This is your English teacher, Nur Nahar from Shoik Birikam Lieutenant Tanwar Girls College speaking. You know, we're passing a very tough time now. And during this pandemic, you are staying at your homes, studying, taking preparation to move on to your regular student life. Today, I have pre uh, prepared a lesson for you. It's on sentence transformation based on degrees. Yeah. Last week, you informed me that you want a revision class on this topic. And so I'm here with this presentation today. First of all, see, we want to know what is sentence transformation. I know that you all remember it, but for the sake of revision, I am giving the description of it akin to you that what is the meaning of transformation is the change of one thing into another. And when it is about the sentence transformation, you know that we, we are not allowed to change the meaning. That means you will have to keep the meaning of the sentences same. Okay. Uh, you can change the structure, but you cannot change the meaning. For example, if you say, I was present in the meeting, okay? I was present in the meeting. That means, you were not absent in the meeting, okay? You were present in the meeting. That means, you were not absent in the meeting. Or, if you want to focus in the meaning and you want to say it in, in a question form that time you forcefully can say wasn't I present in the meeting that means obviously you were present in that meeting or sometimes we explained how beautiful the scenery is okay why do you say this? Because the scenery is very beautiful. That's why. So see, in between these sentences, I haven't changed the meaning in effect. So that means, in case of sentence transformation, we are not changing the meaning. We are keeping the meaning same but changing the structure of the sentences. Besides, why do we do this? What's the need? Actually, such changes make the sentences more attractive. And to know about the strategy of changing, we need to know that there are several methods such as voice, decrease, narration. Even we need to change the sentences according to their meaning. That means assertive sentences where you need to change a one affirmative sentence into ink. Uh, negative or negative to affirmative sometimes you need to change the assertive sentences into interrogative sometimes into uh, imperative exclamatory and so on and sentences also can be changed according to their structure where when we will change one simple sentence into complex sentence or in compound sentences Later on, we will discuss on these things gradually. For today's topic, sentence transformation based on degrees of adjectives. Okay, do you remember what are the degrees of adjectives? Yes. 
there there are three kinds of degrees what are they i hope you remember positive degree comparative degree and superlative degree and what is positive degree is the basic form of the adjectives okay the root word when uh, uh, it is not compared with anybody that time we use positive degree like uh, he is a tall person uh, he is a tall man or the it is a or it is a famous school okay next uh, when we are comparing the compare comparative degree here we use the comparative form of the degrees okay comparative form of the adjectives if for tall it can be taller when you, we are comparing me with another teacher that you can that that time you can tell that uh, nar teacher is taller than somebody else okay uh, or when uh, uh, compare in comparative degree you know you are comparing two persons or two objects okay but in case of superlative degree superlative degree the tallest the best the strongest the most okay here you remember that here you are comparing a thing with lots of things lots of objects so that you can tell what is the best or well, that it is the worst okay so can see here some examples that no other person is as good as himal that means himal is a person and here himal is very good okay in case of comparative sentence comparative degree you see <coughs> himal is better than any other person Okay, Himal is good. That means he is better than any other person. That's why if he was a common person, you wouldn't say that he is better or he is good. Okay. Then uh, in case of superlative degree, we are using Himal is the best of all persons. Himal is the best. Okay. Look at the picture here. Everyone, please take a look. What is written over here? That there are three degrees of comparison. So as we have discussed, let us have a glance now. Let's see, positive degree is used when no comparison is made. I say, he is a good person. And no comparison is here. Okay. Then the comparative degree is used when two persons or things are compared. Look at the picture here. A person is holding one heavy thing. The second person is holding a much heavier thing. And the last person he is holding the heaviest thing. Okay. So the superlative degree is used when two or more persons or things are compared. Clear? So in this picture, you see there are words strong. It's the first person is Romeo. Adjective for him is strong. Then Pico. Pico. Okay. Stronger. And then Shulu, strongest. You can see it from the picture, but can you make sentences with these three words? Okay, so strong. Romeo, okay, right. Romeo is a strong boy. Stronger. See from the picture, he is stronger than she. 
Romeo. Yes, Pico is the stronger than Romeo. Or strongest, Sholu is the strongest boy. Okay, now let us know about the usage. Okay, where are we using positive degrees? See, when we are saying sentences like this, he is a good man. That means after A. Or when we are using uh, sentences like this, no other man is as good as he. That means in between these two as, we are using a positive degree, a positive form of the adjective. Okay. Um, in case of comparative degree, we are saying he is better than me. Or he is better than any other person. Or it is better than most other things. That means before then we are using comparative degree. In case of superlative degree, what are we doing? He is, if you say, he is the best person. He is the best person. That means after B, we are using superlative form. Of, uh, or if we say, he is one of the best persons. One of the best persons. That means after one of the, we are using superlative form. Okay. As we have discussed about the uses, usages or the places of the adjectives in the sentence. Now, we're going How do we change one type of sentence into another? Okay, when we're discussing about Mr. Abraham. Think, Mr. Abraham is a person. Mr. Abraham is a person. Okay, who is rich. And there is no other person who is as rich as Mr. Abraham. He is the richest. Okay, that means in superlative degree we can say Mr. Abraham is the richest person in the sub in the society. So, Mr. Abraham is obviously richer than any other person of the society. There are many other person in that society, but he is richer than anybody else. That means in comparative degree, we can say Mr. Abraham is richer than any other person in the society. So, how can we say it in the positive degree? That means there is no person, no other person who is as rich as Mr. Abraham. So, this sentence can be transformed into positive degree as no other person is as rich as Mr. Abraham in the society. So, in superlative degree, when you are, we are using the richest, the best, that time, in comparative degree, we are using the comparative form of the superlative degree and adding than any other. For comparative degree, we are using than any other. And in positive degree, we are starting the sentence with no other. No other. If it is not person, if it is a man or if it is a school, that time after the no other, we will add a person 
or our school or our thing, whatever the common noun is. Okay. In the next structure, see, Blue Lady is one of the best perfumes. Blue Lady is one of the best perfumes. That means there are some other perfumes which are best. Okay, and it is one of the best perfumes. Okay, so from this sentence, we are changing it into comparative degree like this. Blue Lady is better than most other perfumes. That means when somebody is one of one of a group, that means there are yes, uh, there are some other things or some some other persons of that quality so when we are talking about the perfume brand blue lady it means it it is better than most other perfumes it's better than most other perfumes okay the, when the superlative degree is using one of the that time we are starting the positive degree with very few very few okay that means uh, uh, the word few includes some other so very few here few is a plural noun, plural form so it will take plural form of the noun very few perfumes are as good as blue lady very few perfumes are as good as blue lady so if i give you another sentence like Kaji Nojrul Islam is one of the most famous poems of Bangladesh. Kaji Nojrul Islam is one of the most famous poets of Bangladesh. Can you transform it into comparative? As well as into positive degree. Okay. Okay. In the above two structures, what we saw that we compared something or somebody with a lots of things of that quality of the same group okay now we are going to discuss another structure where we will compare between two things of two different quality two different characteristic i can compare a uh, an animal with a thing or in between two proper nouns also for example SHGC is more renowned than Adosho school SHGC is more renowned than Adosho school that means we are comparing SHGC with Adosho school here, SOGC is not Adosho school. In the above sentences, we compared Mr. Abraham with any other person. That means he was a person. He was a person of, uh, of that group. But SOGC is compared here with Adosho school. But here, you look that SOGC is not a Adosho school. Adosh school is a name of another school. 
so two different proper noun okay so we can say adarsh school is not as renowned as sgc when we are saying sgc is more renowned that means adarsh school is less renowned than us so we can say it like this adarsh school no is not as renowned as sgc same here i cannot speak faster than you i cannot speak faster than you that means you speak faster than me you speak faster than me or i cannot speak faster than you means you also speak uh like me i and you both speak in the same speed okay so how can we turn it into a positive degree i speak as fast as you i speak as fast as you so our speed of speaking is same as a whole what we have learned today from the very beginning we came to know what transformation is and what are the types of adjectives the degrees of adjectives then we came to know the sentence transformation based on degrees in last grade key points to remember the structures of changing sentences so now this is your turn to take the challenge are you ready are you ready change the following sentences as directed in the brackets number 1 sgc is most famous than any other school sgc is more famous than any other school number 2 they walked faster than a camel they walked faster than a camel number 3 This shirt is the most expensive shirt in this shop. This shirt is the most expensive shirt in this shop. Number 4. No other man is as handsome as my brother. No other man is as handsome as my brother. Number 5. birds cannot fly as fast as a plane birds cannot fly as fast as a plane number 6 anita is one of the bravest girls in the locality anita is one of the bravest girls in the locality Hope you have enjoyed the class. Thank you, everyone. Stay fine. Love is.